Hey everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we are doing the Techo Kagi Mid Year Review. What a mouthful, but basically, this is just a follow up video to a video that I film at the beginning of every year, which is the Techo Kagi video. And if you don't know what the term Techo Kagi means, it roughly translates to planner meeting or planner meetup. Um, which is a Japanese term that the stationary slash planning slash journaling community has kind of picked up, um, which just means um, a day to discuss your planner or journal or notebook setup for the year. And um, the Techo Kaigi has kind of become a really big part of my planning process. It's funny, you're planning to plan what books you're gonna use. You're planning to plan. <laughs> um, so I think it's really funny, but also a really helpful tool because um, you can reflect on, you know, what's worked and what hasn't. We're kind of at the mid-year point right now. And so I want to review the planner setup that I chose for the beginning of this year uh, and see what's working, what's not, and things that have kind of just fallen off the wayside. Is that the term? I, I think that's the term. Um, but we're just going to get started. So I'm going to be referring to my Techo Kaigi kind of illustration infographic um, that I made at the beginning of this year and you'll probably see it on the screen flash a few times here and there um, but I'm going to use this as a guide so let's just talk about something that has completely disappeared from my setup which is my mini five rings uh, planner so as you can see I usually have six books in front of me I started the year with six books but this has been sadly deleted out of my lineup the problem with this is that I was finding that it was just a glorified, like, I don't even know, not even a pen pan. It's a thing that I always reach for to bring in my bag, but was never actually used. And it was always, you know, a good like, oh, just in case I have something that comes up, I need to write it down. Um, this would be the notebook, but I don't know. It never came up. So this was supposed to be a kind of planner um or planning supplement so it was supposed to be like my edc planner like everyday carry planner just bring this with me you know if i'm running errands if i'm just you know going out for a bit and i can you know just slip it in my jacket pocket or my jeans pocket it's something that's um portable enough and small enough that it can kind of go everywhere um and i did that for a bit but i ended up not using it i would bring it all the time and up to this day i still kind of bring it everywhere but i don't really use it so I feel weird to say that it's still something that I'm using in my planning setup when I'm not really using it as much. But um, yeah, I was using this for um, quick notes on the go planning and reminders. Um, but I feel like um, I ended up using my big planner for that instead, which is a bummer. But that is part of life, I guess. I still am a big fan of the mini five size. If you haven't seen what a mini five ring planner looks like it just has five rings it's smaller than like um oh shoot pocket size is that what it i'm not really good with the north american ring size equivalent to this but yeah there's usually like one more that has six rings um which i'm forgetting is it, is, i think it's per, no not personal a pocket i think it's pocket size um and yeah the sheets for this are slightly bigger than a business card so it's not a lot of writing room it's good for quick notes i used to plan my whole like life in this um and i have a feeling i'll probably do that in like the the next year or so but i just love going back to this so this is not like a forever goodbye this is just a bye for now um so yeah this is gone but not forgotten <laughs> and then let's talk about something i guess we'll just um weave back and forth with what I'm using and what has changed and what's still going strong. So um, a planner that's still going strong is this one. This is actually not a planner. This is a journal. This is a um, regular size traveler's notebook in the olive colorway. This is actually the 2016 colorway, but if you want to see what the current release of the olive looks like, it looks like this. But yeah, I've been using this cover specifically. So I changed the cover up, but the contents of this traveler's notebook remains the same from the beginning of the year it holds my daily journal and my weekly vertical insert um so my daily journal is just something that i write in you know hopefully daily but the reality is that i don't write in this daily i write in this like weekly every other day um when the mood strikes i don't really have rules for it which is 
important to me because the moment that I impose like a strict like I must write in this every single day I end up kind of you know doing the opposite and not writing in it at all um, which will you know which will lead to this insert but we'll talk about that later but I've been loving this insert it's volume 34 so there's you know 33 other notebooks that are filled to the brim of memories from all the way to, to all the way from 2015 um, which is crazy I can't believe I'm still you know documenting my life in this way um, it's the most constant thing in my life <laughs> Which is actually really funny to say out loud, uh, but I really love this um, system. It works for me. I have been basically journaling about bigger events and things happening in my life in here, which is a bummer because I really like documenting, you know, the smaller mundane day-to-day -day things here too. But life has just been so busy, and um, that was one of the first things that gave way um, in this, you know, chaotic. Uh, landscape of my life right now um, but I know that I'll come back to you know documenting day-to-day -day things here in the future it's just you know this specific you know past few months have been really busy and so that always happens at the end of the school year for me so I'm not worried and I'm not concerned that I'm not gonna journal in here daily I will get back to it soon just not right now um, and then this one I was really proud of for the most part because I was writing in here daily like all the time this is my weekly vertical insert and it, this was just capturing like weekly memories like uh, a little bit of a summary of the day type thing but i basically stopped in like i think june 5th i remember yep june 5th was the last time i uh well i didn't even write it on june 5th basically the week before was the last week i used it um so i can probably finish this insert but there's a little bit of a curse to these weekly vertical inserts because i feel like since you know 2015 i've only completed these weekly vertical inserts for memory keeping maybe like once <laughs> and then the other half of the year just ends up going to um i think i end up repurposing it for like memory keeping or i end up giving it to a friend like it's just so hard for me to complete this freaking insert i don't know why i'm just really bad at remembering um when to fill this out because I'll forget to like fill it out for a week and then I'll catch up on like a Sunday and take like two hours to complete it just because I like to write in this a lot and use my fountain pens and whatnot but it sucks because then you're like no I need to do that again next Sunday and it, it's actually a pretty big time sink to like sit down and write and not that you know it's not therapeutic but sometimes I want to work on like a media journal page or write in my diary instead or write in my um daily insert so recapping the week and then like trying to look through my phone to look for photos has been challenging we'll see if i pick this up again but um something tells me that i'm gonna be giving the other half of the year the the insert that comes with this there's two inserts uh one for the beginning half and one for the second half i have a feeling that second half of the year notebook is gonna go to a friend so um yeah i guess that's another thing that i just need to accept that's going to be deleted from my Tetro Kagi, but that's all right. I still really enjoy using this insert. So love this journal. We'll probably use this forever in my life. It's kind of hard not to since I love it so much. Um, and yeah, this is something that I bring with me almost everywhere um, if I'm not bringing my planner, but still solid. Let's talk about another solid thing in my planning uh, life. This is my diary. And I am still not done this freaking insert, but that's okay. This is the Sumkin Universal Dot Grid Notebook. I forgot what it's called. Universal Book. There you go. The Universal Book. It, it's great for bullet journaling because um, they have guidelines on the margins to quickly make up a month or weekly spread. But I don't use that. I just use this as a um, A6 like notebook. And it's been really fun. I like journaling about my deepest darkest thoughts this is also my rant book if i need to rant um this is you know a lovely lovely notebook um i love this so much i actually love the a6 size i'm surprised that i don't use it for more things but um i'm almost done this insert probably finish this at the end of the year and then i can move on because i think i've been using this for maybe two years i don't write in here very often actually probably like once or twice a month um but i use this as like a heavy emotions kind of notebook and yeah i'm still loving it and i'm still using um 
this um oh is it the count the light the tokyo metronome cover which is so lovely look at it oh it's so nice and i don't have a cover on cover i'm just enjoying this insert for what it is it's really lovely i actually really love the texture of it and yeah i only really have a few hobonichi proprietary covers but i love the two that i have i have the count the lights and i have this one by the same artist and i just love how um like romantic it feels it has that kind of like i romanticize my life main character energy i don't know that's just how i feel when i see this and um i love it when i say i love blue i mean this type of blue like night sky midnight that kind of vibe um yeah but i don't really like blue as you as you all know but this is the exception this like vibe i really like okay let's move on okay so let's move on to the next uh journal slash planner this is actually a journal and on my techo kaigi i referred to this as my a5 commonplace journal but in my head i always just call it my media journal and it just has like book reviews and what else does it have book reviews um like tv and movie reviews uh yeah it just has like i guess it is a catch-all but in my head i just call it my media journal but i was doing other things in here like i really love the beginning of this journal um i have my like vision board and word of the year stuff here travel and i actually really <laughs> like this notebook i don't get to show it very often um but yeah it has my recedify if you don't know what recedify is it's an extension that you can actually it's not even an extension it's a website that kind of connects to your spotify and will give you your top 10 songs of the month um and i've been trying to document each month like this i'm still actually i'm three months behind but i have all of the images uh, downloaded but it's nice to see my top songs um yeah i just kind of i went to a k-pop cup sleeve event thing um so you know basically all this is tv shows i am a big tv watcher it's my other kind of hobby i guess um i know it's like a really not fun hobby to save <laughs> but i do watch a lot of tv and consume a lot of media but i get a lot of inspiration from it too so you can think of it that way um but i like the journal about all of the things that i watch um and i try to log everything here so the date that i watched it started watching and, and date that i finished it um save for movies and books and yeah um really enjoyed um documenting here still still really love doing it i am using the diarist by abby c and i am let's see I am like one third into this notebook. I don't think I'll finish it this year, um, but you know what? That's fine. I um, have accepted that I have a hard time finishing, you know, these notebooks um, when it's kind of undated and unstructured, but it's fine because it's nice to look at something for multiple years when you're done. So still loving this and um, yeah, still using this. It's still something that I love journaling in uh, pretty regularly. Okay, let's see what's next. Um, I think we have my Passport Traveler's Notebook. This is still in my Techo Kagi as well. Um, this is, um, I guess, like a supplementary notebook. It's a Passport Size Traveler's Notebook. This is the Olive um, reissue that came out this year, um, which is part of the permanent lineup. This just has like music journal, like travel. Like it's just kind of everything. And I love using this here and there um this has like my san francisco um like a little bit of like media shop journaling actually you know these are shops that i really liked um this is my music journal that i haven't touched in a while but still really love i was just doing some collaging in here for funsies which was actually oh wow i actually really like really like this collage let me let me scan that in later um and yeah i just put like oh there's just a business card in here and sometimes i'll just bring this with me as like a comfort journal my weekly um weekly comic was in here I haven't updated this in a while but still really love it and yeah this is like a fun journal that i just journal in randomly it's nice to just pick this up like when you're so um not sick but like done with using a certain size like i use my vertical um not vertical my like regular size tn a lot and sometimes using that size is so i don't know you get kind of sick of it sometimes so 
when I need a little break, I'll journal in here. It's, you know, no pressure. I have no timeline as to when I'm going to finish these inserts. It could be 10 years from now and I'm still working on those inserts. And that's fine. I just love having a passport size journal with me. Sometimes it's just nice to bring with you. Um, kind of like this. It's like when you go somewhere and you want to bring a journal. It's one of these two things that I like to bring. And so it's nice and portable. Fits in most of my bags. And yeah, it's very... Um, a very good little companion when you're just going out and you know going for a little coffee or something <laughs> i don't know i just really like this even though i don't use it all the time it's nice to have again it's like a luxury to say all these things because i know not everyone has the the ability to have like a secondary like notebook that you can just bring along but i'm happy that i have this and it's a great addition to my lineup and then I think the last thing is, you might be looking at like, wait, that wasn't in your Techo Kaki before. Um, the last thing is my planner. So I have been a plotter stand for a few years now. I love plotter. If you don't know what plotter is, it is another company under Design Fill, uh, which is the parent company of Traveler's Company and Midori. So they are the same makers of this lovely lovely um journal system planner system notebook system um but this is like a ring system so i know like rings are um i don't want to say divisive but like some people like them some people don't and that's just kind of how rings work for a lot of people but this is a ring organizer system the main um thing about these planners that is that they are tiny and they have tiny rings they only have 11 millimeter rings right here and they are small very small um but basically i was using the a5 size i freaking love this and noth nothing is gonna change the fact that i still love this notebook oh that was upside down um i had my month at a glance my work weekly my personal weekly and then I had my projects and i still love this like look at these all the all these project management um folders um I have like Valentine's Day cards from students. Um, yeah, my monthly insert. I can show you my monthlies, right? Because there's nothing on them. Yeah, there's nothing on December yet. But basically, I was loving this, but I just wanted a little change. There was no reason to shake things up because I absolutely love this. I will use, use this in the future. I will use this for many years. I love the A5 plotter. It just works for me. There's a lot of space for um to work in like this is my weekly for my personal life slash job's journal so much room i usually do like tasks here day-to-day -day tasks and then a running task list or note page here usually write the a quote here i write the week number here this was like week 15 um love this i just realized i wasn't using it as much um and that's when i realized like maybe i should change things up but love this love this love this love this and loved this so past tense and present tense um but i wanted to change things up and honestly i have a bunch of these smaller size bible size um plotter organizers these are the same as a north american personal size and this was the plotter fifth edition notebook and honestly i have been using it a lot it is getting a lot of where look at that it's even getting some of this like i guess it was being not ro like you know when people roll their leather notebooks and you get a little bit of texture that's happening there there's a scratch i i was kind of upset when that happened but you know it's all part of the journey of a notebook a leather notebook they are not meant to well for me i personally think they are not meant to be um they're not meant to be babied but i don't know i was babying this for the longest time but i'm glad that I finally let go and you know leather is supposed to change and you know morph with its user at least that's my philosophy so i am glad that you know this is finally aging as well and this just has um a lovely uh debossing on here and it's an olive color as well and then the brass spine is actually not brass it is uh, kind of like a rose gold coppery finish and then this one is more of a brass gold color on the a5 and this has the same setup um actually has the same exact setup it just has my monthlies i'll just show you this one and then it, i have my weekly what can i show that's weekly 
um yeah i just have um like teaching here and work here and if i need more space i usually just grab one of these guys this is the uh up plotter um narrow size insert and it is smaller it is way actually no, it's not way smaller this is basically two centimeters smaller than the personal size and it's nice because if you put this in um an insert if you put it uh on like a weekly insert why am i doing this right now okay one second multitasking for example if i put this here if i need more space it's perfect because you still see um the the date and then the sides over here which is nice because there's a lot of info on the plotter weekly inserts right here um and so having this little sheet here gives me more space and it has my running to do's actually i can't show you because it has like teaching stuff um but i actually had my year end to-do list here and i basically just move that from week to week and it was perfect because i would just write my tasks like my events on this side um day specific tasks so you can see this little line here i would put an event here or like major events for that day and then weeks uh, day specific tasks and then like the longer running tasks i would put here and then for my personal side i would do the same thing i would do the weekly a big event here like i don't know uh, more social stuff here uh day specific tasks and then my running weekly tasks here and i would just move this plotter narrow sheet to the next um week just like this and again with plotter the rings are small so i don't find it intrusive when i'm writing and then i'm using this really really good pen um this is pilot friction but they re, re i guess they reformulated the black ink you have to buy it specifically um i think it's like the pentel knock zone 2 or something um i forget the actual name but there's a reformulation of the black ink that uh pentel or pilot uses for their friction pens and the black is more black instead of a gray and this is their kind of more premium pen because this is a wooden um section where i guess wooden grip so this feels nice it's not plasticky it's actually um like wood it feels really nice um my only gripe with this is that it's 0 0.5 i love writing with like 0 0.4 or 0 0.38 um nibs um, or pen tips but this is a 0 0.5 but i don't know this is just so nice for planning because i don't know about you guys but plans change and things change a lot in my life especially in teaching and stuff so i need to erase so this is a nice way to erase and i don't need to bother about getting white out or whatnot or crossing things out it's just easier to just erase it and so i like using this and i love how black and opaque the ink looks it's just a nice reformulation highly recommend it if you're into pilot friction um but yeah i think that's it the main big difference is is that my planning has changed i don't use a mini 5 anymore and um i downsized from an a5 to a personal slash bible size um but other than that all of my other planners and journals have still kind of stayed the same if you want a, a quick breakdown of you know what i use the most i probably reach for these two the most in terms of journals obviously I use this every day so this is like a daily weekly type thing and this is more of like when the mood strikes so if i really were to say how many planners i re use regularly i would say these three this one planner and two journals and then these two other journals are just you know supplementary things Supple supplementary things i feel like I, I added an extra syllable or letter there but these are things that i use whenever and these are things that i use pretty often and it's nice having just five it feels weird um but yeah i love how you know this setup has been very minimal but also very useful i feel like there's enough space to journal and plan and i'm glad that i am in a space um or in a setup um that feels right and doesn't feel overwhelming to me um i should probably say that i also use um notion and apple calendar they sync together um on my apple calendar and that's what i use for my digital planning um everything basically i've i found different like um extensions and shortcuts and plugins and extensions um to make it so all of my planners 
digital planners like Google Calendar and um, Microsoft um, Teams Calendar, they all just sync to my Apple Calendar and I just see everything on my Apple Calendar. And so that's my main digital planner and I use that to help plan in here too. So um, I should always you know, mention the digital side of things because we do live you know, in a digital world um, and I like to think that the digital and analog work together to create a very good system. And yeah, I think that's it, folks. Um, did your Techo Kaigi or Planner and Journal setup change from the beginning of this year to um, now? I'd love to know in the comments and let me know if there's any fun new notebooks or journal or planner systems that you are interested in learning more about and leave them in the comments below because I'm happy to test them out for you. I am ready to be your guinea pig. So let me know if there's any fun things that you want me to try. I also am kind of interested in the, um, oh, it's like a German notebook system that I know it on the top of my head that has metal pins that I've always wanted to try. Let me know if you want to see a video on that because I can take one for the team and buy one. <laughs> Is that my excuse just to buy it just because you guys asked for it? But let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Okay. Uh, I love you so much. Please take care and be safe always. Uh, I love you and take care. Bye-bye.